Okay, this video is going to be about how to replace a battery, a CMOS battery, on a old uh, 286 motherboard. Obviously, this would work with any motherboard that used the old uh, batteries that look more like uh, capacitors, uh, radial capacitors. Uh, where I'm actually going to be sticking it at is right here, in this area. And uh, what I'm going to be replacing it with is going to be just a normal uh, coin cell type battery, like what you see here. Um, um, we're just going to put a socket in there. That way we can actually uh, install a battery, remove a battery, and not have to worry about soldering or desoldering every time we need to change it. So I'm going to go ahead and get set up for this just a little bit, and then I'm going to get back online and show you guys how I do this. Okay, I'm set up now, and I'm just going to kind of show you some of the steps that I take to um, replace these batteries. The first thing that we want to do is we want a cleaner tip. So we're just going to add a little bit of solder down here to this. Just kind of clean it off a little bit. Uh, that's still a little bit dirty. There we go, a little bit better. Now I'm going to take this and stick it right there on this... Uh, this pad that has had a little bit of corrosion on it. I'm just going to try to heat this up a little bit. Try to get it to burn off some of this electrolyte and at the same time make this thing soft enough to rapidly remove it. Don't think it's wanting to go. We may have to flip this over. Let's see what we can try. Okay. So you can see right there this. Okay, now we got that cleared out. You can kind of see that. And I'm sorry if the lighting is not perfect. It's one of those things that I'm just really not set up to do this type of work. Now we're going to try to get in here and grab this other one. Adjust my camera a little bit. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and clean this up with just a little bit of um, uh, desoldering braid. And I'm actually dipping it in a little bit of rosin flux that I made. I make my own rosin flux. And we'll clean this up with a little bit of alcohol here in just a bit. But I'm just going to stick it on there. Sorry, I know that you can't see right now. My camera is actually sliding around. Give me just a second. Let me see if I can adjust this. Oh, yeah. Yep, it's still a little bit grody. Let's get some of this light in there to where you can see it. I don't know if this cap is right in the way. I probably should have cleaned this off, to be honest with you, before I started doing this, just simply because it has some of this old electrolyte on it, but it'll be good. 
All right, I'm going to stop the video for just a second. I'm going to go get some 91% uh, isopropyl alcohol, and we'll start this back up. Okay, I'm back for just a minute. My phone's getting ready to die. I'm actually putting on just a little bit of flux here. And the reason for that is... Because I'm going to go ahead and try to desolder this with my uh, desoldering gun. Just kind of clear those holes out a little bit, make everything nice and smooth for the battery holder to actually go in. I've already pre warmed my desoldering iron. So let's see if we can just get this thing heated up just a little bit. This is something that you sometimes have to do. You sometimes have to add a little bit in order to be able to get it all out. It's not that big of a deal. It's fairly common. Okay. Let's take a look at that on the front side. Oh yeah. I think this will do just fine. Uh, Let's give it a go. See. Yep, the so all the way through. So so much. Uh, let me see if I can do this off camera. Oh yeah. That worked. Okay. So, next thing that we want to do is we actually want to place our battery in here. Now, as you can probably see, I'll point this out. Uh, right here is the positive side. This is the negative side. And if we actually look at our battery holder I'm going to try to get this in the camera a little bit better I'll actually get this in the camera a little bit better um, this is the negative side and this is the positive side so it'll have this little uh, thing on the bottom uh, that's going to come back to the back side it's going to come through with a post as you can see on the bottom and that's what we're going to stick right there so i'm going to go ahead and get this inserted flipped over and we will go ahead and solder it and it's ready to go and of course you know it's kind of cramped you can see that especially um right in this area here there's not a lot of room there but this will work all right i uh, uh also apologize I'm not really the greatest at talking and um, multitasking well just multitasking in general I'm not really good at talking and uh, trying to accomplish anything especially whenever I'm trying to look at the camera and make sure that I'm um, in the correct field of view and trying to you know actually think about what it is I'm doing and the best way of trying to get around it but this is a 286 motherboard that I'm trying to restore and it's got some damage to it um, mostly cosmetic you can see here there's even a little bit of rust right on that um, yeah I say rust I think that that's actually probably um, old flux but there is a little bit of rust on it, especially on the back side um, you can see uh, the case that it was in was outside so it's got a little bit of damage over here and of course right in here whatnot um, i'm gonna have to clean all this up but um whenever i get it cleaned up and put back in the computer i'll give it a boot up and give you guys uh, the opportunity to take a look at it and see that yeah this in fact does work all right i appreciate it and we'll see you next time